We are close to hitting 100k subscriber this month. So yes, it's time to give back something to the community. Hi there, this is Mina once again and as promised, today I'm going to share with you all my little lunatic tips and tricks. But instead of giving you all the generic advice like upload quality content and do that frequently, let's be more pragmatic here. So instead, I'm going to share with you the actual tools that I use to create videos like how to do effective research, competition analysis, creating channel art, animations and all that good stuff. And for all those who are going to sit till the end of this video, well I have a bonus tip for you. So like always, all the useful links will be in the description below and with that being said, let's get started. Now I know most of you guys don't like to read much, but if you want to make a living out of YouTube, then you should learn from the experience of people who are already doing it. And Creator Academy is a platform from Google which will help you to do that. So basically it's a website where you can connect your YouTube channel and set up your goals. And then it will show you all the research content trailer according to your goals. Overall it only takes an hour or two to complete each courses. And I believe every new YouTuber should go through it at least once. Another way to grow fast on YouTube is by analyzing your competitions that are going faster than you. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys already do that. But how about doing it smartly? For instance, you can use this Chrome extension called TubeBuddy and it will reveal the data that you don't see in the plain sight. Like is this topic advertiser friendly? What are the tags hidden in this video? It also gives you other options on your channel as well like the best time to publish your video, topic planner, bulk update etc. And then there is always a comparison graph on the channel page where you can compare your videos, views and subscriber count to your competitions. Now most of you YouTubers might already have this app installed but in case you don't, do yourself a favor and get it ASAP. It is available for both Android and iOS and basically a condensed version of the YouTube analytics that you see on the desktop. I particularly like the three feature of this application. One, you can quickly edit the titles, metadata and description of your video. Second, you can also see the analytics in one single page. And no, I'm not going to tap on this revenue option. But yeah, my favorite feature is reply to comments. So these days I don't get as much time as I used to get before. But whenever I'm commuting or got stuck in the traffic, I make it a point to reply to some comments. And you should do that too. Many of you have asked me which editor do I use to create animations in my video and well frankly speaking I don't create them from the scratch instead I use a tool and so do many other YouTubers. So I use this legendary app called legend where you can simply enter the text and it will generate wonderful text animations. The app is totally free and gives you 1080p footage with no watermarks. Yes there are other similar apps as well so if you are interested check out the link in the description. Nowadays adding a right keyword on your title, description and text is not sufficient because this is something everyone is doing. However, if you can add captions or subtitles in your video then YouTube might give it a little boost because then they will be able to read your video. And it's not just about the SEO, captions also help cutting through the ascent. But the problem is how can you upload captions to hundreds of videos that you have already uploaded. That's too much work right? Well, not exactly. You can use Google Voice to text feature to automatically generate subtitles for any videos you want. The trick is to configure the system in a way that it records the audio coming out of your computer. On Mac, you can use Soundflower and for Windows, you can use Stereo Mix option. And trust me, the results are pretty amazing. It's almost like magic. Using this trick, you can easily transcribe hundreds of videos in just few hours and that too surprisingly 90% accuracy. I recently did a detailed video on that, so if you're interested, check out the link in the description. One of the fastest way to grow a YouTube channel is giveaway, which you should not do all the time, but every once in a while, it's okay. And Gleams make hosting a giveaway a lot easy for the creators and also unbiased for the subscribers. And the way it works is, you create a contest and share it with your audience. For instance, let's take the giveaway I ran a week ago. So users can enter the giveaway by completing entries like subscribing to a channel, liking their social media page etc etc. 
and once the giveaway ends, Gleam will randomly pick up the winner and send them a confirmation email. Obviously, more entries our user will fill, better are the chances to win a giveaway. Now for all those who are just starting a new YouTube channel and looking for an easy way to create intro videos, well you should definitely check out Pantroid. It's like a blender software put online. So this site have hundreds of templates, although most of them are old and only good for gaming channel. But you can find some hidden gems there. And once you do, you can customize it like changing colors, shape, size, anything you want. And once you are done, you can download it in 1080p, no watermark or anything. You can also use it to create text animation for your videos. I have made a list of couple of good ones. So in case you are interested, just let me know and I will share it with you. Now let's talk about making some greens. So if you're a big YouTube channel with millions of subscribers, then most of the sponsor will come to you. But since you are watching this video, chances of happening that is pretty low. So the problem is how do small YouTubers find good sponsor? And well, FameWit solved this problem. So this platform was recently acquired by Google and basically what it does is it brings the creator and sponsor in the same page. Though you will need minimum 5000 subscribers to enter here. Personally, I have used Framebit couple of times and frankly speaking, I am not a big fan of their model. They take 10% commissions from both sides. So if it is a $500 deal, then the brand will have to pay $550 and you will only get $450. The rest $100 goes to Framebit. So what I suggest is you find the brand using Framebit and then approach them directly. Most of the brand that I have worked with also prefer to work directly with the creator. Now if you are looking for creating elegant channel arts and thumbnails for your videos, then try Canva. Although I personally use Photoshop for most of my thumbnails. But yes, when I have to create a channel art for my Facebook or YouTube cover page, then I also go to Canva. Simply sign up for the service and choose the design like blog, business card, infographic, YouTube channel etc. And then start creating. The good thing about them is all the templates, colors and designs are exactly what is trending in the market. So if you are not a graphic designer, you can always rely on them. And once you are done, simply download the final image. And yes, the images are high resolution and there is no watermark. All for free. Now if you are just starting a YouTube channel without any prior experience or resources, then I suggest you make videos on what people search, like how to's, tips and tricks and troubleshooting etc. And once you have the enough traction, you can make videos for your subscribers and first page. Now, the question is, how do you know what people are searching? And well, most people suggest Google Keyword Planner and Google Trends, which does work well for the websites, but it doesn't show you the data for YouTube. So instead, what I suggest is you use the YouTube's built-in statistics tool, which in my opinion is pretty underrated. Simply search for the topic you think you can make good videos on and then look for the existing video and tap on more and then select video stats from there. For example, one day I was looking for a way to mirror my Android screen on computer. So I searched it on YouTube and found few videos. This one is getting 3 to 5 thousand page views every day and doesn't have much subscriber. So this means a good number of people are searching for this topic. And if that video has an outdated information or too many dislikes, or if you think you can bring a new perspective, then make a video on that topic. And you will also get views pretty soon. So I did exactly that with this video and if I'm right, after 2 to 3 months, this video will cross 6 digits. See for yourself. Okay, so for all those who have come so far, here is my number one tip. Earlier YouTube used to boost the videos based on views. But then people started gaming the system by making clickbaiting thumbnail. So then they updated to retention time. That is, what is the percentage of your videos people are watching. But then Facebook also come into the video market. And now in 2017, it's watch time. So what exactly does it mean? Well, Game Theorist has a detailed video on this, which I will put in the description below. But the TLDR version is, YouTube is now concerned about the total watch time on your channel and not the single video. Which basically means two things for you. Number one, upload longer videos. For instance, if there are two videos with same content, then YouTube will promote the one that is longer. Because by the end of the day, YouTube wants people to stay on their site. And second is, you need to upload frequently, daily if possible, because if you are going to upload videos daily, then people will get addicted to your videos and then they will naturally come every day. You don't have to give them external stimulation. 
So that's pretty much it. I hope you liked this video and if you did then let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. Also share this video with your friends just like I did. So this is all for now. It's Manal signing off and like always thank you for watching.